Hi YouTube, Eric here. So I've got a problem with my boiler system and it's a brand new Wheel McLean or nearly new Wheel McLean, maybe three years old and uh, so everything in this whole setup is brand spanking new and my complaint is is that the upstairs is warm but the downstairs has been getting down to 62 degrees and after checking my thermostat and checking my zone motors, I realized that what's going on is my taco recirculation pump has failed. And I looked at this thing and I realized there's an LED telltale light that is not on. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that what the fault is, is this yellow capacitor. So I ordered in the replacement capacitor from Taco. And what you get in this kit is a replacement capacitor, a little snap wire to hold the capacitor in place, and a grounding wire. So even though this recirculation pump is not running, it's still got a live wire being fed to it from the uh, boiler. So in order to shut this off, I have to unplug the boiler itself. Okay, pulling out the capacitor, we find out that the capacitor is really only held in by two wires and they go into a three wire block. The middle wire is, is I'm presuming, red. Uh, okay, so I looked and looked all over the web to try to find a little wiring diagram so I could sound super smart when I explain what's going on here. And, uh, okay, so black, if this follows normal convections, if this is a regular power cord, okay? So black would be hot, white would be common, and green, of course, here is our ground. And uh, so then we're sending the yellow wire going in here becomes our hot. And then we've probably got two power wires, one from a relay and one's probably always 24 volts uh, coming off the board. And then back into common. And I, what's this capacitor do? It's probably for the high torque start. It's probably just used just to spin this thing on up and then his work is done. So, anyway, let's replace it. kit comes with another one of these little creepy things. Check that out. Oh, I don't have that. You see that? Huh. I think that I'm going to recycle this. Since I really have to see what I'm doing here. Sorry, folks. So, I'm going to reposition the camera. You'll see this. Well, it won't be live for you, but you'll find out if this little LED should kick on. Right? I'm going to plug this in to the boiler. The LED didn't kick on, but the motor sure did. Okay, YouTube, I, 
I don't like it when jobs don't go the way I thought it was. And so my whole like, you know, hoo-ah, hoo -ah is, I'm gonna make the green light go on, not just make the pump work. The pump is working. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, I've set up a voltage. This is reading the power that goes to the LED. Literally, I'm on the on the uh, hot and common. It's an AC system, and so I'm the only way I can turn this thing on and off is by plugging in and out. So I'm going to plug it in. The boiler is going to go through a, a self test. That you, if you can see it, it's going on behind there. And when it kicks on, you're going to see the voltage go up to whatever the house voltage is, like 121. 122, 122, one, yeah, anyway. So there we go. We know that we got power, and I know that this thing's spinning. So I know I've solved the problem, but this LED light is also apparently out. I guess I shouldn't mess with it. It's a live wire, anyway. <laughs> so despite my green light not coming on, I have fixed the pump. I did, however, just go on Amazon and I ordered a 120 volt LED for three dollars and sixteen cents because I'm 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 a little AR. I like to fix things and have them be fixed. So <laughs> I'll see you later, YouTube. Bye bye.